I'm Dan Katz. Um, I'm the chief scientist at the National Center for Supercomputing Applications, NCSA, at the University of Illinois, and I'm also a, an associate research professor in computer science, electrical and computer engineering in our School of Information Sciences. I'm Neil Chuhong. I'm director of the Software Sustainability Institute and also senior research fellow at EPCC at the University of Edinburgh. So the, the so the call for um, for papers for this special issue is related to software citation indexing and discoverability. And the reason that this is interesting to me is that I've been a software developer for a long time and moved away from more direct software development and more into looking at the software ecosystem and managing people who do software development and understanding how my institution does software development. It's become clear that a lot of the people who actually do this work don't get the credit that they should in the wider community and that the wider academic community uses citation as a way of understanding who has done work that's important to scientific results. And so our intent overall in this long effort of which this special issue is one of the pieces is to make software fit into this academic ecosystem by making software citable in the same way that other products and other papers are citable. And so the intent of the special issue is to understand how is this working, who's doing work in this area, and how do we move this overall area forward and publicize it. And from my perspective, I think what's really been interesting over the last few years is uh, particularly around software citation, we've seen a shift change in the way that the community is uh, perceiving it and, and developing policies that help to implement it. So I think this is the right time for a, a special issue on software citation, uh, discoverability and indexing, simply because there's more work going on in this area that can be reported. Uh, and in particular, there's more research that's being done. So I come from a background of uh, looking at how different software development projects in um, various areas of the sciences and the arts and humanities have been developed and the people who are working on them. And like Dan, uh, it's been about understanding the credit and recognition. Uh, but I think also one of the aspects of getting credit and recognition is also making your software more visible to other people so that it can be reusable. So the discoverability and indexing of software is also very important. And it's something that's often overlooked. And I think a challenge we have here and where we, uh, we're looking to see uh, what research can do to help address these challenges is understanding where we can make things easier to cite and to dis uh, discover and to index and what are the approaches that can be taken to improve this? Just to, just to add slightly to that, um, Neil and I are also um, two of nine co-chairs in an activity that's looking at how FAIR gets defined for research software. Um, and so there's some overlap here as well, even though FAIR is not the same as citation, um, a bunch of the same issues come up about how do we actually make software reusable um, and part of making it reusable is actually letting people, letting people find it and in order for it to be found and it has to be indexed. And so there's a tie here that um, goes beyond kind of us on the academic side into, um, into public funding as well. And so I just wanted to mention briefly that from the point of view of funders who are investing in software development into in, in having different groups develop software, they have an incentive for wanting that software to be found and to be reused and for other people to contribute to that software rather than for other people to redundantly develop um, additional versions of that software. Um, so currently a lot of the submissions that we have uh, are either drawing on specific pieces of experience that the, um, that the authors have had or looking at uh, policies and, and strategies towards software citation discovering and indexing. I think from, I think from my per, uh, perspective, uh, I'd really like to see some more submissions that look at uh, ways of measuring software citation and going into, into detail about different research approaches and methodologies for understanding different patterns of citation. 
and also to look at um, papers that are around how we how we help enable the indexing and discovery side of things. So we've seen quite a few submissions that have looked at, as Dan said, uh, the idea of how FAIR um, uh, intersects with software citation, discovering and, and indexing. But I'd also like to see some papers that look into new techniques for doing indexing, particularly to understand what the differences are between software and the other research objects, which are already being indexed in different types of knowledge graphs uh, and identifying the challenges that have been um, presented because of the different ways in which software is published. And I, I think for me, the something that I've become interested in more recently that I'd like to ideally see some work in um, would be tying citation and the results of citation to the uh, to the quality of the software in some sense and uh, properties of the software. Um, so I, I would be interested in knowing, for example, does software that is open source written with a code of conduct um, get more citations on average? Uh, is it more reused on average, more discoverable in some way? Um, along with a bunch of other properties that could go with the software as well. So what, like, what, what properties correlate um, with software being cited and being reused, for example? Yeah, kind of quickly following on from that, I've seen some great papers recently um, that investigate the, uh, in the field of bibliometrics, the way that different policies and strategies uh, around things like um, equity, diversity, and inclusion improve the, um, the quality and um, quality, the impact and the engagement of different types of research outputs. And it'd be wonderful to see papers submitted to this call, which looked at the use of similar techniques to examine uh, those, those kind of policies impact on software um, and software citation in particular. We welcome all your submissions before the closing date for this special issue. Thank you so much for contributing to this call.